Can a wealthy man truly find salvation? An intriguing question to ponder. In the Gospel of Luke, a rich ruler approaches Jesus, asking what he must do to inherit eternal life. Jesus tells him to sell everything he owns and give to the poor. The man's face falls at these words, his wealth a burden too heavy to let go of. Isn't this a mirror to our modern society, where the pursuit of wealth often eclipses our pursuit of virtue? Wealth in its glittering allure can breed selfishness and greed, pushing us further from the path of salvation. This isn't to say that wealth is inherently evil, but the love of it, the obsession with it, that can lead us astray. A wealthy man's journey to salvation, it seems, is as difficult as a camel passing through the eye of a needle. Is the kingdom of God akin to a political territory? It's a question that invites us to delve deeper into our understanding of divinity and governance. The kingdom of God is indeed a place of governance, but it's not one marred by territorial disputes or power struggles. It's a realm where God, the ultimate authority, rules with fairness and love, offering saved souls and eternal life alongside Jesus. Now, some might argue that this portrayal is a political statement, and in a way, it is. It's a statement against the worldly pursuit of power, wealth, and territory that fuels conflicts like those we see in Russia and Ukraine, or Israel and Palestine. In the kingdom of God, these earthly disputes hold no sway. The principles that govern this divine realm are vastly different from those driving our world today. They are principles of love, generosity, and justice. In the kingdom of God, there is no war, no conflict, just eternal peace. Could the pursuit of wealth and the subsequent selfishness lead us away from salvation? Let's take a closer look. Imagine a man who was once humble but upon acquiring wealth, his perspective changes drastically. Suddenly worldly desires consume him. He becomes selfish, lost in the glitz and glamour of his newfound status, forgetting the virtues of sharing and compassion. This shift is not exclusive to men. Women too can be swayed by the allure of riches and power, their ambitions leading them away from the path of righteousness. The Gospel of Luke reminds us of the rich man's dilemma. Despite his adherence to the commandments, his attachment to his wealth left him saddened when faced with the choice of serving others. This mirrors our society today, where the relentless pursuit of wealth often blinds us to our spiritual needs. The pursuit of wealth, it appears, may be the greatest obstacle in our path to salvation.